Hello, Internets, and welcome to my live reaction for Fire Force, Chapter 237. Uh, when we last left our heroes, the fight with Raffles continued, didn't quite start, somewhere in that zone, uh, as the rest of Company 8 arrived and helped out with the Infernals. Uh, Kareen, with the help of Pan's buffs, set up a shield to protect everyone from uh, Raffles' lasers, which is good. Um, and Shinra went to work fighting, Raffle, fighting Raffles, or he would have had Fairy not shown up, toss him around, uh, then Sho arrived, they had a good reunion, and then Fairy just, like, left, and I'm still not entirely sure what he was doing there, uh, but whatever, because now Shinra and Sho are going to fight Raffles. So let's jump right on into Chapter 237, Hero. And our picture here is Shinra in, like, an offbeat Superman outfit, Super Shinra, Look up in the sky. A bird? A plane? No, it's the strongest unparalleled hero. Um, and so we open uh, with what looks to be Sho's thoughts. Shinra and Sho reunited. Show them true heroism. My brother is a true hero, and someone set him up to be a devil. I, he, has, he sees the image of Shinra in the like, demon wings and the word devil scrawled behind him. Brother. The cataclysm is an explosion of human ideas. If your actions can bring hope to humanity, their thoughts of hope should overflow and prevent the destruction of our world. Uh, and Shinra looks, uh, looks at him in shock. I, I, I'm kind of highly skeptical it will be that simple. Um, which also does kind of bring the, bring the question, though. I, I basically started to accept the idea that the series has that all of human perception leads to death. You know, the idea that everyone kind of grapples with their mortality. Um, what I can't quite work out is why fire? And like the more we see, of, like the more we saw of Adola at the beginning, the more it was hell. The more we see of Adola now, the more it's just kind of a void look in place. Like it occasionally still has some flame to it, but it's not as prominent as it was at the beginning of the series. I don't know, just some things I've been wondering lately. Anyway, their thoughts of hope should overflow to prevent the destruction of our world. Um, yeah, again, it's not going to be that simple because that would not be much of a shonen battle manga if that was all they had to do. <laughs> You're not a devil. So let everyone know who the real hero is. Uh, and Shinra listens to that and just smiles. I know I'm not a devil. The world needs me to be a hero. This guy is making people into sinners and then making them atone. What kind of hero is that? Um... I'm not quite sure I follow that, uh, especially because, because I don't know, the concept of sin in the Church of, of the Flame, a Church of the Holy Soul, hasn't exactly been well established. Um, like, like, it's kind of this concept of, of you know, getting, getting, of monopolizing on guilt, I guess, kind of comes with the Catholic aesthetic. But it's not really, the, the work to do that has not really been done by the series. Um, I'm throwing a lot of things out there in the first three pages of this chapter. Uh, two pages of this chapter, I mean, but still. Um, so after that, after Shinra has that line, the two of them just kind of float there, uh, staring down Raffles. Uh, and the cameraman is still watching them. Apparently not protected by the scale shield? Um, all right. But he says, those boys are going to fight him. Uh, and the other other onlookers notice him. Go! Fight! Uh, and just then, a bunch more lasers start. Uh, and Company 2 gets ready for it. Here it comes. Uh, and then it flashes. Like, the lasers shoot. They shoot right by Shinra. Um, oh, and they, they, they shoot at Shinra. Uh, they're aimed to all collide right where Shinra was. Um, but then, but they kind of seemingly are, like, explode or something. Uh, Juggernaut says, the lasers were deflected? Uh, and we see Shinra's already gone to light speed. Uh, and crashes into one of the spokes of the wheel. By the way, isn't Corona still on that wheel? Uh, I don't know, but we see a bunch of flame rise from, from where Shinra hit. Uh, uh, Raffles goes to look at it, and Juggernaut calls, Shinra-kun! Uh, and Shinra 
emerges, reformed, of course, we see the crater where he kicked the wheel. Been a long time since so I tried a light speed kick. Looks like I missed. Uh, and Raffles looks at him again. La tome. Uh, and just then a bunch of fire erupts where Shinra was. Uh, and Shinra flies away from, from the destruction. Um, and he continues to fly away. Uh, and he, he seemingly gets away. Um... Here's the thing I just noticed, though. Maybe this is this is completely unrelated to everything going on right now, uh, but very much in, in, in line with Adola as a concept. Uh, because, I, for one thing, I've complained recently about the knight not being shown very much, which, which is the exact opposite of what's going on here, uh, which is nice. Uh, but the stars are being shown as star shapes. Um... And that's, of course, it's, it's a dola, just like the moon becomes the grinning moon. Um, the stars are like the way we draw stars and not actual pinpricks of light, um, which is just some, some really nice detail. Um, the idea, like a dola feel like an incredibly fleshed out concept, uh, even in the ways it's not directly, that we're not directly drawn attention to. Um, and so it's just really nice to see all the different ways a dola gets, gets shown. Um, Anyway, Shinra goes to look down at, at uh, Raffles, uh, and Raffles kind of fades into, uh, disappears into the star at the center of the wheel. Um, and then he, the center of the wheel is replaced with his face, and these crosses uh, over his eyes, the tome. And then he opens his mouth to face Shinra. Um... And he shoots something out, I think? Uh, maybe? Um, Vic Vulcan calls out, the spikes dis the spikes disappeared? Uh, and I think that might be Obi? Poss not, yeah, Obi in the, in the visor. I'm picking up eight new heat sources, strong ones. That might actually still be, still be Vulcan. Uh, I'm not sure what spikes have disappeared. Um, because nothing seems to have really disappeared here. Um... Like, if the spokes of the wheel were gone, that would be one thing, but they're still there, very clearly. Uh, but then we have this new thing, uh, fl now flying around Shinra. Um, and they look like... I'm not sure what they look like. Um, I mean, they're, they're horned infernals, um, is my best guess, because they're, they look kind of, kind of infernal, but they also look kind of paper mache, maybe? I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Um... And Vulcan tells Obi, the new heat sources, they're demons. And Obi lifts up his visor, demons? A single demon's already hard to put down. Eight of them? Uh, that's uh, Maki, and Hinoa responds, repair supporting fire. And we see Fairy, who just gr grins at this. Uh, and Shinra watches as all the demons fly by. Um, and Raffles just opens his mouth some more. I'm not sure if he's creating more demons. I don't know. I really don't know what's going on here. <laughs> uh, but Shinra starts to prepare his light speed kick. Uh, and just then we see another big explosion in the sky, presumably from Shinra doing his light speed kick. Um, and as the dust clears... Oh! Vulcan lifts up his visor. Incredible. All heat sources have been extinguished. Shinra killed all eight demons just like that. Okay. Uh, and Arthur just kind of grins. Heh. You finally overcame the devil? Uh, and just then we see Shinra, it was like stylized Shinra with Hero uh, coming from his feet. Um, and Victor just smiles. Shinra Kun's got a different vibe to him. Uh, and Sho yells, My brother's a true hero. And a hero finishes things with a single blow. Come in, and Shinra squares off against Raffles once again. Come and see his majestic figure, his incredible power. No foe can stand against an awakened hero. He'll bring this fight to an end with a single blow and show his worth. To be continued after 238, that figure. Um, okay. So, a lot going on here. <laughs> um... I'm still, like like I said earlier, the concept of, of this guy is making people into sinners and then making them atone is really not in line with what we know about the Church of the Soul. Um, like, there's been almost, I can't think, 
can't think of really any talk of sin in the entire series uh, up until this line, which is just like, I mean, maybe it's, it's pers the, through Adola, the perception of Catholicism, s like slipping through, maybe, possibly, perhaps. Uh, that's, that feels like a stretch, though. That's like the definition of a stretch. Um... <laughs> Um, I'm also a little curious what happened to the, to the scale shield, given that it was supposed to be, you know, Company 4's big, big, uh, um, big thing in this fight, big contribution in the fight. It's just protecting everyone else, um, so that they can deal with the Infernals and Shinra and Sho can focus on, on Raffles. Um, that seems to be gone, so I don't really know. Um, but yeah, then we see Shinra, who is, th thanks to the... The um, approaching Adola, approachingness of Adola, how close Adola is, how close Adola is, uh, is able to use the light speed kick to kill all eight demons at once. Um, also, I, I feel like I've talked about this before. I want to talk about it again in case I haven't. Um, it's just having having Adola's close by now is just a really good excuse to not have to do a training arc right now because <laughs> like they get all of their all of all of the grace powers that Shinra and Sho have used are just like in their arsenal uh without them having to worry about it because eh, Adola's close now uh but I imagine that will be a big problem once they start fighting enemies start fighting actual white clan members who have the evangelist grace and have the closer Adola. Like, what if Haumea can't be can't be blocked by Arthur anymore? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but beyond that, it's just kind of it's this is kind of just like a let Shinra be awesome chapter. Um, as Shinra kind of sheds the devil imagery, um, which is kind of a weird thing though, because the devil imagery, I don't think like like, like at the beginning here. Sho kind of implies someone set Shinra up to be a devil, is what he says on the first panel. Um, and yet it seemed to me that that was just because of the creepy grin and the footprints. So, like, maybe maybe Shinra's whole power set is part of someone setting him up to be a devil, possibly is what that's implying. But that also kind of seems like a stretch. Uh, like, like though, to be, to be fair, to be fair... Two months ago, Virgin Birth was a stretch, and now here we are. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing. Kind of a weird thing. Uh, does, also, does this mean that like Shinra no longer does the creepy grin? Um, also, what is Arthur? like? Arthur seems too knowledgeable of this for the you finally overcame the devil bit. It feels like he knows something, when he shouldn't really know something right there. Um... I don't know. There's some confusing things going on here, but the chapter is a lot of fun. Um, and I'm curious, Sho seems to imply that the fight with Raffles will end with one blow. Um, I'm curious to see how that plays out, uh, if that actually happens. Um, but we'll kind of have to wait till till next time to find out, because, I don't know, there's a lot, lot to pick at here, but uh, a lot of it is just kind of confusing right now. So, well, I, that's really all I have to say for this week's chapter. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video itself. If you did, feel free to drop me a like or subscribe. Or, you know, do whatever makes you happy, you know? And remember, your life is your own, okay? Bye!